Here they go. Hi, baby. It's been so long. Welcome back, everyone. It's that time again. It is Wolverine Wednesday. And today we are going to be looking at one of the most vengeful and deadliest ex-girlfriends in Marvel Comics history, the Marvel Legends Lady Deathstrike, sworn enemy of Wolverine, out to get revenge for the death of her father at the hands of Wolverine, or so she believes. Um, she has been released in the last quarter of last year, 2021, and she is a part of the Build-A-Figure wave of Zimnu. She stands at six and a quarter inches tall. I'm not too excited about the articulation this time around as they have added some strange elements and they have taken some away. The uh, QC issues are very minimal on this figure and uh, she has a permanent wind effect on her um, hair cap or so. And here she comes with the torso of Zimnu, which is nice in the detail. It's a little stiff. Um, you can see that uh, you got to add the, the legs, the arms, and the head. I don't plan on collecting this. Um, the, the leg joints are pretty much fairly freely, uh, you know, movable right out the box. But this torso, like if he has an ab crunch and he can go back, it's not really going anywhere because of this huge belt. Getting into the figure. Now, this arm joint coming out of the box is very, very stiff. You literally have to, like, hold it because it's like a peg joint for the wrist. It's like a wrist joint peg uh, for this elbow. And you have to hold that top part and bend it just to make sure that you don't break it. Um, the wrists are, are pretty standard. And she got these huge claws. You're not going to be doing anything with this sleeve. But um, trying to hold that together to bend that elbow until it get, it gives away and it's not as hard to bend without worrying about breaking it. Um, the claws are painted silver. She has some cybernetic silver painted on her hands. Um, and her, her fingers are kind of flimsy and a rubberish thing, so you don't have to worry about breaking those off. The vest, let's talk about this vest. Um... The vest isn't bad. Uh, it's not going to give away. That's one hard piece. And it, it looks like they have multiple pieces to make up her torso. Now, her left arm, that, that bends just fine right out the box. Um, her uh, elbow and shoulder joints are pretty good. And she has a different type of articulation from the left and the right. We're going to get more into that later on in the video. And again, with this detail, it's it's really cool. It's not the best but it's it's not that great, and I just don't understand some of the decisions that they make. Um, but overall, with what I want to do with the stop motion, it's pretty neat. Uh, standard leg articulation. I like the uh, the vest, even though I kind of wish it maybe it could have you know they they could have uh, incorporated some type of articulation. But maybe it's because her waist is so small. So I guess we'll just have to you know deal with that. Um, let's see what else, um, now getting into the rest of the figure, uh, I guess we're going to save that for the rest of the video, but as you can see here, let's, let's add to the fact that she has pinless, uh, articulation, uh, leg joints, uh, at her knees. Uh, most figures, uh, they have like the pegs, but it's cool that they don't have it there. She has a single jointed elbow on both arms, obviously. Well, I'm saying it like it's super different from like they used to do in the 90s um she's an okay figure you could definitely get a lot of posing out of it or so definitely easy on the eyes and um you know just getting into like the character um i was first introduced to this character in the uh back in the 90s i think uh, flare ultra 90 91 or so so i got some posing you can get a fair amount of good uh posing and action out of this figure as you can see she poses great, and when you put her 
with her other comrades that are out to kill Wolverine. Um, the 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 ideas are limitless. He has great balance for an action figure. Some of these out of the box, they fall right over, but not her. She's got waist articulation, but not in that crunch. She has two different track directions for both her wrists. One vertical and one horizontal. She has standard articulation in her legs. Overall, once again, the Hasbro team has knocked it out of the park with this Lady Deathstrike figure. Um, Got to take some points away for the different uh, directions with the wrist articulation, one being vertical and the other one being horizontal. I don't understand why they do that. They did that with the um, the Marvel Riders uh, Punisher figure. I didn't like it on that either. Um, but... You know, I mean, I can still execute the goal of stop motion. She balances very well. When you go to take shots, you don't have to worry about rushing before the figure falls back over. It's going to be pretty solid. Even if you balance her on one of her feet, she balances very, very well. And I guess that's a point added to the figure. So overall, um, is definitely a mainstay, as stated before. But once again, I thank you all for stopping by and checking out the channel and you all have a great, amazing Wednesday. Until next time, peace. Do the YouTube things like comment, share, and subscribe.